So now that the gun is basically assembled and almost complete, the last step is to oversize the bore uh, for the barrel pin and uh, and put an oversized pin in it. Now there's I like I'm something I like to do is use a tool like this. This is a uh, this is a pin gauge or a hole gauge, and uh, LittleMachineShop.com uh, sells them periodically has a sale on them. I think I paid 10 bucks for a set of four of them in various sizes, but this makes it a very handy thing to uh, basically uh, get an accurate measurement so you don't have to make the, the pin any larger than you need to. So, the first thing you do is uh, check the hole. And I'll do it this way so you can see it. But what you have here is you see how you have the offset from where the barrel went in a little further than it did in the original hole because this is a non-matching barrel. So you can see that right there. Expand this guy. In the trunnion section, not on the barrel section. Until you feel it just start to drag on the inside. Alright, if it's really tight then you've gone too far. But yeah. Get your caliper or your or your mic. And So you got about two hundred and seventy two thousandths or so. Next step, measure the offset. So get it in the center of the barrel. And this part can be a little tricky, just make sure you're getting it on the barrel itself and a portion of the trunnion without the hole in it. Okay. Measure that. And we got about 251 thousandths or so. So that's a 19 thousandths offset on the radius, which means we'll have a 38 thousandths offset on the diameter. So that means that's how much we have to go over to clean it out. So now we've got the fixture in place uh, to uh, line up the hole for drilling. And the first thing I like to do is just take a, a bit that's undersized from the actual trunnion hole. And uh, just, just to clean out what's in there. So uh, put a little cutting oil in there, or a lot, your preference. And yeah, line it up, make sure everything's hunky-dory with that and Try move up one side at a time The chances are slim to none of this happening, but after each time I drill, just as a sanity check, I like to put the no-go gauge in and just verify that the headspace has not changed. And it hasn't, so we're good. All right, next size up again. And the drill press is on the slow speed, but that smoke is just the, uh, the cutting fluid. Okay. 
The last step here is ringing the hole. Uh, the best way to do this I've found is just to drill up until you're close to cleaning out the hole and uh, then pick out a reamer on MSC Direct or Enco or whatever company you like to use and uh, get, get a reamer that's that's close to the size maybe maybe uh, ten thousandths or so uh, over where you after you've cleaned out the hole and uh, then pick out a, uh, a drill blank that's about two thousandths over that and cut it to size and use it. So we're going to go ahead and ream the hole here. There we go, a nice clean reamed hole.